It's like a hacker for Thrifty Thursday. Don't throw the contents of your crock pot outside. It's no, not no. going to vaporize. No, no. no. no you're going to want it. It's you're going to want it. Yeah, it's yes. really good. And today's uh, something special, of course, because you're always helping us save money with the recipes. That's a <laughs> given. But also something uh, healthier, some low cow type yes. uh, recipe today, right? Yes. Yes. So really, when it comes to soups, my favorites are always the chatters. You know, like the thick, you know, yummy mm -hmm. ones. The fattening ones. The fattening ones. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And they are. So this one is a baked potato soup. And normally, I mean, a serving of this can be up to, I mean, 500 calories a serving wow. and when you think a serving is usually about one cup you know you're not eating just one cup of soup so that's a lot of calories so this is a lower version of it um, my kids are gonna freak out when they find out what I fed them last night once they know what's actually in it oh so, they didn't even know yet no they ate it and yeah. and um, thought it was amazing that trick, Rachel? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm excited to do this because yes. I'm trying to find ways to sneak other things into my kids diet too. yes so they are not watching this morning it's too early for them still so this is this perfect is it's all about the cauliflower okay. cauliflower is a great way to thicken a soup or anything really um, it's really mild in flavor so it's easy to disguise so instead of making Making this soup based on all milk, we're using chicken broth, low sodium chicken broth, and cauliflower. Hmm. And that's gonna so. give you the thickness. So when you start off, again, I did this in a normal pot, but you can totally do this in a crock pot. You're Which is nice because yes. you just hands off. <laughs> yep, exactly. So first thing in the morning before you go to work, go ahead and put in your chicken broth. You're gonna use a whole carton of chicken broth. You're only gonna have about four cups of milk and try to use a 1% or 2% at, at best. Will so keep skim it low. milk work if you have it or yeah. does it not cream up enough? Yeah, it'll be fine okay. because the okay. cauliflower is gonna thicken it like okay. crazy. So put that in there, chop up two full heads of cauliflower, that's a lot of cauliflower, and you're gonna put in about six of your, or five or six of your potatoes. And you've got those uh, yep. ingredients right there yep. on the screen for put you. Put those in there, let it cook on low all day. And that's gonna be your first step to it. Now some tips with it, it's gonna be extremely thick. So if you don't like your chowder to be that thick, maybe only do one head of cauliflower. Or if you want it to be a little bit chunkier, maybe only put in about four or even only three of the potatoes to begin with and save the rest for in the end. So that way you can make it a little bit chunkier, which we'll talk about in the next segment. Yeah, so but So yeah, it just depends. If you want it to be thinner, don't put as much cauliflower in there because it is really going to thicken it up. And I don't know about you, Rachel, but I don't I don't buy cauliflower regularly. I don't often When I do, either. it's in a frozen bag. Yes. How much is a head of cauliflower? It's got to be cheap, It's though, very right? cheap. On average, yeah. it'll cost you about maybe $2 for a head of cauliflower, sometimes a lot cheaper. But yeah, so I mean, really, that ends up being the most expensive part of it. Because, of course, about, potatoes are... They're so cheap. Yeah. yeah. Since we're the right? potatoes today, right? Yeah. Come yeah. on. Yeah. 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 So that'd be the easy one. I mean, it makes it extremely easy to do that. And then the rest of the potatoes, you're just going to reserve. And when you come home, then you're going to finish the process of kind of adding the extra goodies to it. That's right. Thanks, Spencer. And Jessica is here with me from livingonacoupon.com to do part two of our, what, what is the official name of your? This is a baked potato soup. soup. Okay. Just a low calorie version of it. Excellent. And that fits right in with our, with the weight loss challenge that we've been talking about this morning. So yes. we did earlier. You talked about topping the cauliflower and, and getting all that ready to go. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower is kind of the secret ingredient. It is. That's the right? secret ingredient. So that's cooked all day. We had the cauliflower in the broth. They've been cooking all day. Okay. So then when you come home, say so now you're home from work, you will have that in your crock pot or pot, however okay. you've done it. So it'll be cooked down. It'll be nice yep. and soft and ready to go. Yep. Okay. Yep. An immersion blender is really the key to this. Of course, you could use a normal mixer or a blender that you have, um, but if you have one of these, it's the we key. We were just talking about um, in the break that I need one of these yes. because you can do it right there yes. in your pot where yep. it all is already. Stick it in and you're just going to run it around and that is going to completely blend everything down Lovely. and make okay. it extremely thick. And it is. You can see it coming off of the yeah. blender right there. That is a nice, you did it beforehand, of course, but yes. it's a nice, thick soup. It base. is. Yeah. Ready now, to go. this is where I have chopped up about half of a bunch of the green onions and you're going to go ahead and put these in there. Let's go in. Excellent. And these are more potatoes. Now, when you started for this size, we had eight potatoes. We put right. five of them that went in there with the cauliflower. The remaining three, I went ahead and just stuck them in the microwave, you know, pierce them and cook them in the microwave. Um, of course, you could do it in the oven. You know, do you want those baked potatoes? I have peeled them because by peeling them, that helps also cut down on a lot of the calories right there. Excellent. So, Taking the skin off. Yes. Okay. So those are going to go in here. Perfect. Oops, as I make a mess everywhere. That's okay. <laughs> Cooking gets messy. What do you do, right? That's I know. part of the fun of it. Yeah. Okay, so potatoes so. go in. Yep. And this Excellent. is where it's going to get the nice, you know, the chunkiness to it. So you've pureed it down, and that is made really our replica, our lower calorie replica of it being a cream. Okay, excellent. So next we put in well, sour, sour cream. cream. Yep, Why and this not? is going to be creamier. Yep, okay. and that's going to give that flavor. Now this is going to, you know, use a fat free. Perfect. Um, you know, to help, obviously, same thing. Cutting calories Cutting calorie where we can. can, absolutely. That's right. Okay. And you're going to blend all that in there, and you're just going to mix this up. And what's Perfect. great about this, then if you want to have me that uh, bowl over I there, 
the fun part in the end. Of course, you have to have the goodies. Yes. Another so area. Out. Yep. Another area that we are cutting back the calories is using turkey bacon. I, I heard bacon Look, and I can't. I know. Yes. Now, I knew there was bacon somewhere in the studio. Yes. So, here it is. so now yes. I know my dad is probably freaking out right now because I just said turkey bacon. I love bacon just as much as the next person. We love turkey bacon in our it, house. It really and it's is cheaper good. too, yeah. by the it way. Is. It's a lot cheaper. cheaper. Which is so weird because you think about usually the healthy foods I can't afford to eat healthy. Mm -hmm. yep. Well, this bacon, I bought a pound of bacon at Walmart and it was $1.99 for turkey bacon where our regular bacon was almost $4 a pound. Yeah, super cheap. So it is cheaper yep. to eat healthier. So this is a garnish. We have yep. our, little, our garnish. Cheese, yes, here. the bacon, throw whatever you want yep, on top. That's and right. So that's what makes potato. it a true baked potato. And that's yeah. what makes it. Soup and the nice thing about this is this one only has 230 calories a serving as opposed to the upwards, you know, of almost 500 wow. calories. Amazing. And we've got that full recipe. We'll post it on our website, Idaho on your side. Com. Head to livingonacoupon.com as well and see yeah. all the recipes yes. from yes. Jessica. Right. Thanks so much Thank for you, this Jessica. amazing looking soup. You're welcome. We appreciate it.